Okay. This cave is uh, a hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure we should actually escort these kids. I think I did that last time too. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night the teachers and some hunters took them out from winter homes on a secret adventure. Hello guys and welcome back to some more Frostpunk. So um, I actually started a new game. I tried three times <laughs> to get back to the point I was without making the same mistakes. I apparently did way better the first time than all of those other three times because I failed way before I even got to the same point. So I actually had to lower the difficulty from extreme to hard. I apologize if, if you guys really want to see the extreme to the end, but that's as far as I got on extreme. I couldn't do anymore. I kept dying. Uh, I, I couldn't continue. I tried to continue once and I tried starting a new game three times. And it did not go that well. So I said to myself, fine, I'll just do an extreme slash hard let's play of, of this game. And then we'll see how far I go. So sorry if, if you really wanted to see more extreme stuff, Russell, and see me improve. But my goodness, extreme in this game is very hard. Like, I, I could not deal with it. I always ran out of food. And if it wasn't food, then everyone got sick. Like, it was like, I focused on one thing and another thing turned completely horribly wrong. So uh, now I'm just playing on hard difficulty. I say just. I mean, this is way easier than extreme. Like, the jump from hard difficulty to extreme is so high. But uh, on, on hard difficulty, I have no problem. Like, hard difficulty is fairly easy. I don't even notice that it's harder than normal, really. Um, so so there must have been some kind of buff or, or, or some kind of thing that you get whenever you are... Uh, I don't know... Uh, Whenever you're near this stuff, I, uh, uh, wait, this is a tree thingy I can do? Okay, interesting. Uh, but these guys have a lot of resources. I will continue exploring this way. Uh, I also did a few extra uh, different things this time around. Okay, so as you can see, I now have one of these guys here. Uh, I have a little sawmill out here. I have my seal works here. And then, of course, I, uh, I have a little gathering hut and some food huts over here. I have, also have the hothouse still. I got the automaton as well. Uh, everything else seems okay. Uh, I have four workshops to research. I have people to spare this time around and uh, they're not freezing to death. The temperature is still only 30. On the other one, I reached minus 60 or, or something like that and I got completely wiped out. So hard difficulty is like half as hard as extreme. <laughs> But this is going to be a an extreme slash. Oh, okay. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There was supposed to be many settlements under construction and a construction crews here. People living normal lives in homes heated by generators, but we are alone. People are very sad. And now we have the Londoners rising, uh, which is kind of funny. I never got to this point. I like I, I actually explored way past this time than I ever did when this happened before. Uh, winter home has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive? Uh, I'm gonna do faith again, and uh, let's do house of prayer. Hear me, hear and uh, I guess cut off his leg. You know, it, it, it's good. It's fine. Uh, maybe it's not good that he's an amputee, but we. It, it's good that we can take care of him, like he's one of our own friends, right? It's good to care of each other. But at least everything is sort of under control now compared to before. I need to build another uh, thing. For my, uh, from, or another tent for my people. Two more tents, actually. And over here I have the automaton to take care of the steel, actually. Oh, what is this? Uh, they want to leave. The Londoners, yeah. Not about the Londoners. They've been a pain in the butt. And they're still a pain in the butt. And I need more, uh, medical areas, I suppose. Can I uh, please get something else here? Bunk houses? Yes, that's probably a good idea to start investing in now. Now I'll just keep doing this. I don't need extreme heat right now. It's only minus 40. Before it was way worse. Uh, yeah, it's all good. Uh, you guys are gonna be there. Okay, great. Now what do you have to say? Survivors. 
Several pools, okay. Uh, near the freshwater springs, we met some refugees from Winterhome. They are uh, a sorry sight and seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Asked what kept them from starving, they look away, then <laughs> mumbled something about eating li li lichens. I still don't know what that means, but uh, interesting. So we can send them or we can escort them. Uh, I think sending them is fine. I don't mind if some of them die. There's so many kids. No, no, seven kids, actually. Okay, the center survivors. I don't need people right now, so it's actually completely fine. Uh, let's go ahead and send you over there. Actually, I can. I, I should probably research after this another expedition, because I, um, I have way too many people that I can't even use for that many things right now. I need to build a couple of things around the place. Um, yes, right here would be a good spot for you. How are they decreasing in homelessness? So bunkhouses have been researched. Now I don't have a generator range, but I want more scouts right now. Just so I can use all my people effectively here. Cold homes, I don't care. Uh, I, I don't care about discontent at the moment. It's not a big problem right now. Uh, you guys overwork actually. Or rather, extended work time. I could try to get another hunter's hut. How's food? It's okay. Okay, I don't need that for now. But I do need, like I said, another sawmill. Um, where will I put you, though? I can put it here without it destroying the, uh, the, the sauce. We also put you... Let's put you right over here to kind of save resources, no? There we go. See, that's a perfect spot right there. All right, then I can assign people to you. And they can do stuff. Don't let the Londoners do stuff. I will do my best to stop them. Need 30 wood though. I need more wood. Wood, steam calls and food rations. Oh, another thing. I, I destroyed the coal mine over here this time around. Because I, I don't know if I did that last time too, but this time around I did it anyway, and I feel like that was probably the right choice. I, I didn't want to have people running back and forth with those resources later on. Because I, I know what's going to happen. I'm not going to say what's going to happen later on, if um, in case you don't want to know. But uh, coal, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal with when it, when it comes to like making an outpost or something. Um, it's more the the actually no I think I don't think I have to do that at all because uh, everything seems to be going pretty smoothly over there like we don't need uh, steel or anything so uh, it's pretty good refugee from Winterhome um, the man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found searching his burrow we found the diary of a scientist who fled Winter Winterhome after the starving city fell into chaos his leader and army captain appointed himself an absolute ruler he tried to impose order using force plenty of people disgruntled deserted the city and most of the others rebelled against him okay yeah so th th this just line up with the law i'm pretty sure this is seems so so that's kind of cool shrouded cave let's see up here then Uh, let's assign people to work on that. And then can I... I can give more homes. Uh, let's go ahead and put a home here then. And then we can build a house of prayer in a day. People join the Londoners. Don't do that, people. Stop it. How are we going to survive? What should we do? Listen to me and you'll survive. At least this time around. <laughs> Can, can, that other guy was not me. He was an imposter, of course. I have the children work. Uh, we don't need to have other people do that. Uh, 
Okay. This cave is uh, a hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult survivors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to our city. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure we should actually escort these kids. I think I did that last time too. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night the teachers and some hunters took them out from winter homes on a secret adventure. Or winter home on a secret adventure. He just told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, the guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time before things in their city got really ugly. Yeah, just escort them, I suppose. Uh, we formed, uh, we took care of the children. We formed the children into an orderly column and set towards the city. Yeah. More scouts research. That's exactly what I wanted. New scout team. Okay, you guys go over here. We're gonna go further up north, I think. The American camp. Ooh. I still, I still wonder how that goes, because I don't think we've seen it, the uh, camp or anything from uh, other countries. That's functioning anyway. <laughs> to say it like that. Go ahead and have you guys do that. You guys do that now. Okay, uh, purpose. Let's see. So, evening prayers would be great. New law. A new law has passed. A new law has passed. I give you a new law. It doesn't really matter where I put it. It's, it's completely fine either way. So I have a lot of sick people. I'm hoping I can fix that up. It was the right thing to do. Before things get too hefty, yeah? I got real coal mining last time, didn't I? Two hundred and forty coal. How much does a coal thumper give? Four hundred and eighty-six coal. I don't need that right now. I do need this though. The um, the next upgrade here. So let's see if I can't get seventy-five wood. Come on, seventy-five wood. You got this. Nice. Next here, please. Nah, it's good. Uh, I, I will probably try to build more healthcare for you guys, but uh, I won't focus on it too much. I'm glad to hear that. The rebirth of faith. We've been through this already once, so let's just continue. An engineer probably got amputated. Oh, you guys, uh, you are you over here? Okay, uh, go to the American camp, I suppose, and then we keep going up there. You're going back again, so I can explore this afterwards. Are we starving? We have the kids keep working on that. Oh, it costs 20 food rations to do that. Okay, I see. One of our captain really has a plane. I have a big plane. It's a great plane too. It's called surviving. And you, to do that, you kind of need to listen to me. Okay, great. Efficiency, not necessary right now. This is the outpost depot. I mean, that is pretty nice. Uh, all of these I'm gonna need. Let's take this one first. 
Scout, reach the thingy. Okay, let's take a look. Starved Americans. The Americans' camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have barely, uh, have barely worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, the Tesla Manufacturing. We only bury them and take their equipment. All right, that's great. You go ahead and do that then. Uh, you're almost back again, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, we need someone over here. You will have to keep regular shift every day. I want to dress this now. Nah. Oh, you guys are not very happy. You're you're very upset. I, you see, I can understand why. You have two days to lower content. Fine. Why won't you work? Could not resume. Requires raw food. Storage limit reached. Well, because we have too much food. And why are you guys not eating? We we'll have to do this now. All right, fine, fine. Normal shift for a little while, I suppose. Just because you guys are very upset at me. You didn't have to be upset. You could just ask nicely. What is it you're upset about anyway? Cold at home, bad healthcare, overcrowded medical facilities, bad food, the people are hungry. I can't do anything about you guys being hungry. Let's do that actually. There we go. Perfect. End of shift. No I will build another healthcare facility. Fine. Just to keep the like everything under control, I'll build two. I have enough people for it, I guess. Angry. Fine. Fine. Overdrive. I'll even upgrade your houses. How about that? Discontent falls. Great. Don't like how you guys are so annoying. <laughs> Silly, I don't have names for these people yet. So you know what? I'll, I'll just go ahead and give them names really fast. Uh, can I... Can I click on one? What let me? I, mean, I guess maybe later then? Bit weird why it won't let me click on them all of a sudden, but okay. The temperature's gonna dr drop twice. Okay, let's do this and then we will um what will we do i guess i'm gonna i'm gonna have to do this now because i don't i don't have enough people i now have the problem i didn't like or that i didn't have before purpose okay let's see so shrines are the temple faith keepers I need faith keepers. Uh, send the cleric to reassure people, yes. Need to build the thingy? I guess I do. They have returned with more people and more stuff. Uh, oh yeah, kids. What am I going to do with all the kids here now? Uh, uh, that is a very great question. I can probably run this at temperature level 2, right? If I really want to at the moment. I need to... Yeah, I need to build more homes. I can upgrade all of them. I mean, why not? And then I can even go ahead and give you guys more uh, 
My house is here. There you go. And that works, I guess. Ooh, so many. Okay, can you please get over here? Because I would like to explore the rest of this stuff. They gain more followers. I need to build uh, the Fate Keeper's headquarters here. Um, and what else do we need to build right now? Do I have enough food? I do have enough food. I have... Hmm. I guess I kind of just have to build another medic thingy, right? Because I have so many sick people. The settlement seems to have an abandoned it consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty and our bright boulder stands at its center. Big resources, sure. Oh, you're, you're also waiting there. Okay. Um, Walt Colony, sure. Uh, you go there. Need to make you guys actually do stuff. I'm just mess upgrading the homes at the moment. I can heat those guys up as soon as they're ready for that. Hell cancellation, great. Cookhouse insulation, infirmary. I don't need an infirmary because later on I'm planning on getting something else. Factory. I need a factory. Uh, do let some give him what he needs. Sure. Sure, let's give him what he needs. Alright, I will do this and then I'll do this. How about that? Let's uh, do this and put more children on that. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and put children on this and... Requires an active guard station of Faith Keeper. I thought I built one. Oh well, it arrived slightly, I guess. Oh, did it, did it not activate it? Oh, it's not been built yet. Come on, people. Waiting. You are currently waiting. Let's go to the large convoy. Uh, how are things going over here? It's going okay. Still a lot of sick people. Exile colony, let's see. Numerous snow shelters expertly built from the blocks of hard packed snow huddled together. Cold burned outer campfires and deadly silence hangs over the colony. Um uh, d d I have to escort them if I want them. Sure. Escort them to the city. I need more able bodied people, I suppose. Great keepers, just give me one. I don't I don't need anything else, so just one. Hooray, have faith, brothers and sisters, we shall see spring yet. I think this is also something I built last time, didn't I? I remember building it, but I could be wrong. All our troubles are triggered in the face of eternity. Faith is our only hope in this frozen hell hole. Let us pray. Our faith will guide us through the ice. I mean, that probably won't work in in actuality, but we can we can imagine it, right? We can use our imagination. That is going to save us. That is indeed going to save us. Oh, yeah, you want me to get livable conditions in homes. But I, I can't do better than this. Like, if I... Yeah, I straight up can't do better than this. So I don't I don't know what to do.
Another act of vandalism? Ah, let's go ahead and uh, and send the cleric to reassure people. We don't like that. Cleric beaten. As the Fed keeps the security street, shall let's do that. They gain more followers, of course they do. need two people that doesn't even work they're both sick never mind that's okay there's a large convoy this is a convoy carrying workers that got in a blizzard they're weak and have no provisions we just listen to the story and escort them to the city it's not a winter home the workers who were riding this convoy told us they were heading for the city of winter home we were supposed to follow the signal from the beacon but we couldn't pick it up they say we tried to follow a search pattern to find it but ran out of fuel let's send them to the city it's okay. You, 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 you'll, we'll see you later on, I suppose. Go ahead and do that right there. Okay, thank you for the factory. I needed that one. Now, flying hunters. We're gonna make a factory. Let's go ahead and make a factory. I don't think the factory needs to be, like, big or anything. Uh, where would I want to put you, I guess, back here? Because you know that won't work. Maybe even all the way back here? Here? Yeah? There? Yeah? Yeah, right here. Sure, let's put one there. Cookhouse helps us give them what they need to spend 100 wood. Cookhouse efficiency will rise by 40%. I want to help the cookhouse. We don't want to. We will spend 100 wood. When you say efficiency, I mean, sure. I, I, I guess they mean like we will. Is it work time or is it just the amount we'll get from food? Because I don't actually know. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. We have no dead people yet, which is nice. Let's go ahead and make shrines, I suppose. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Yes, new, new law in the city. There's two, and this is... I mean, this here is probably going to catch way more, right? Yeah. Thank you for the assistance, my friends. Thank you very much. It's off time. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I would like to make you guys overwork again. Uh, uh, yes, yes, extend working hours. Yes, of course. Let's do that. Trines have been built. Uh, let's go ahead and make discontent lower. And of course, um, only children, right? Yeah, only children are working there. Good. Go ahead and put more people in this. I didn't realize they keep, keep losing people. So let's go ahead and do that. And... Um, Research, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to focus on something else. Prosthetics, I think. I need to make 28 of those. You promise people won't, you broke your promise. Eh, <laughs> it's fine. They'll forget about it a little bit, it's okay. Urgent need for treatment. Disperse the crowd. I am doing everything I can for the medical treatment. Do they, do they realize how hard it is to do this? I don't think so. Are they not working? Oh, it's night time. Night time procession is starting by the generator. Now we can click on people. All right, this is gonna be Russell. Hopefully you won't die this time. 
Oh, I, actually, you weren't the one who died last time, I don't think. All right, this is going to be a hero. There we go. Hero. And, of course, uh, this is going to be Hugo. Hugo. There we go. Here we have Odin. Sure. All right. And then we have Mitsuho again. And there we go. And perfect. And, of course, we have, uh, we have another peep person. There we go. Edwin. There's a guy, I think. Yes. That's Tomori. Here we go. Tomori. And perfect. I think that's all. Oh, there's also Odin. Uh, wait, give me a second. Uh, here we have Odin. Let's see if anyone survives. If you die, it's not my fault. That That's that's pretty much how it's going to be. <laughs> All the time. All right. Well, that is also going to be for this video. Uh, hard difficulty. I mean, it has been tough in certain areas. Like right now, a lot of the medical facilities are out overcrowded. Um, but ultimately, I do think it's way easier than extreme. So, um, yeah, it's fun. I'm looking forward to continuing this. I um, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Hope to see you in another one of my videos. Consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And as always, stay awesome.